Microphone four, Fred. Fred Stoss. Um, Trinity Emanuel Lutheran Church is my congregation uh -huh. where I attend. Um, and I also am on the board of the Rochester Lutheran Campus yes, Ministry. I'm going to borrow from you, Bishop, um, courage. Um, some people ask me why, I, 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 I'm on the faculty at the University of Buffalo and I'm with campus ministry and I still serve on a number of committees for Hartwick College, my undergraduate alma mater. My wife thinks it's because I'm trying to relive my adolescence. Mm -hmm. um, I have reasons why I do all three, but I want to tell you about the reason for the campus ministry involvement. Um, one, I have a passion for it because I learned it um, from Paul Bosch and Rick Bear. Matter of fact, Rick baptized my our daughter. Um, but I can tell you one of the reasons why, um, for the past five or so years, um, I remain as committed as I do to campus ministry is. Um, I don't want any other parent to have to deal with a situation of their child coming home and saying, I don't believe in God and Christ anymore. And um, because it hurts and pain is um, something that has different roots to it. Um, I'm just saying this because one of the reasons why I, I would so strongly encourage anybody to support in any way they can um, our campus ministries is to prevent our children from losing their faith. And I see it happening on the campus where I work. Um, I see it happening on the campus where my daughter went to school. And I just see it happening far too much. Um, it's one anecdotal reason why we need to take that step in a positive direction um, is to prevent pain but more so to prevent the loss of faith. So support your campus ministries. <laughs> Thank you. Good three. It's a powerful and, and yet painful story.